How's it going everybody? It is your boy Max here. Welcome everybody to vlog number three on my Vancouver BC trip. Um, today, I guess it rained last night because it's damp. Um, the road's wet, like you can tell that it's, it's rain. Maybe it just rained recently. There's some, some darker clouds, so I'm hoping it doesn't rain again. I didn't check the forecast or anything. So I don't know, hoping for the best. Today we're gonna rent an electric scooter and we're gonna go around Stanley Park. Um, yesterday when I was walking around the marina and you saw in yesterday's vlog, I mentioned that there was an electric scooter store. Um, so I looked into it and I'm gonna do that today. Also, the bike rental place, Coastal Cogs, that I, uh, I rented from yesterday, which is what the whole vlog was centered around. Basically something happened where I had to put a deposit in to rent the bike. So if the bike gets damaged or anything, they don't have to pay the full bill of, it's basically like a, a, a security deposit sort of thing. That's exactly what it is. So basically they said they needed a credit card um, in order for me to complete this transaction, but I didn't have a credit card. So they allowed me to actually do it on a debit card. And instead of $500, they allowed me to do a $200 deposit, which was really cool of them. But when I went to go return the bike, I asked the guy, okay, so do I just get my deposit? And I didn't actually get the deposit. Um, he said it would just come in in a couple hours. I didn't get it this morning. So I gave him a call and they were super apologetic. They felt terrible. Then they said I have to go there to actually complete the transaction to get my money back. Then they called me again and they're like, wait, we feel terrible. We don't want to inconvenience you. Could we just e-transfer you? So they e-transferred me the money and I got it. So even though it was a mistake, um, they were the owner of the store was teaching two or three new employees and I was like their first time that they could do it. Like I was basically a part of their training. Um, so mistakes happen. Don't get mad. And uh, the customer service was still excellent. I would still highly recommend. All right, we're back. I ended up coming over to the official 2010 Olympic cauldron uh, for the 2010 Winter Olympics that were held here in Vancouver. Um, this was kind of one of the spots that I've wanted to see for a while. Um, also, this whole structure right here is really nice because of the shade. It is amazing. But yeah, there's the official Olympic cauldron. Um, I think they had an issue with it when they officially went to go light it for the games, but I'm not entirely sure. Also, there's a, there's a, like a, a pixeled killer whale over there. So we're gonna go see that as well. And of course you got the mountains in the back. Pretty beautiful. There's a better look of the orca. If you guys wanted to see that, it looks pretty cool. Um, but over here is again, North Vancouver. As you can tell, it's a lot more cloudy than it has been uh, the previous three days that I've been here. This is the first day where there's actually a lot of clouds. And I think the coolest thing ever is how you can see the shadows of the clouds um, on top of the mountains. I don't know if you guys can really tell on the video, but it looks so dope. It looks so cool um, how you see how big the mountains are that these clouds don't cover all of them. And when I was on the plane, you could really see that as well. And I think this is cool how you could see like the city of Vancouver over there. Stanley Park is over there. Look at me like knowing where I am and everything too. I think that's really cool. But uh, basically we want to go over that way. I don't know if you guys can see, uh, but the marina is over that way. And that's where I walked yesterday. And that's where the electric scooters are. So that's where we're going now. And uh, yeah, just wanted to update you guys on that. This beautiful scenery that is Vancouver, BC. All right, we've got, we got the electric scooter. This thing is so much fun but it's like impossible for me to record while driving it because you like need both hands. So I'll try to find where like it's set up and I'll, I'll drive past it, but it's so much fun. Um, I'll show you in a sec. All right, I thought I'd just give you all a quick update. We're in Stanley Park right now. Uh, North Vancouver is just over there. Uh, I'm just about to go into the park itself. Um, it's the, the scooter is so much fun. It's, it's, you pay $5 to begin the rent and then every minute you're on, it's another 50 cents. So I calculated it and if my math's right, it'll be about 90 bucks for three hours, which is what the e-bike sort of was yesterday. So it's about the same uh, and it's extremely fun. Uh, if you remember from yesterday, there's Lionsgate Bridge, but now we're on the other side of it. And uh, yeah, I'll update when, you guys, when I see more. All right, so we're over at the seawall. That is the damn ocean over there. Um, 
Lionsgate Bridge is just behind me here. And uh, yeah, this is gorgeous. This behind me is really cool too. Um, it's so pretty, it's so calming. Um, yeah, this Lionsgate Bridge is massive. Like they say Saskatoon's the city of bridges. Boy, I don't see anything like that. Oh, fuck. Hi friends, it's your boy Max, back at it again. Um, look how big these boats are. Like, I've never seen shipping boats before. Because I don't know if you knew this, but there's no ocean in uh, Saskatchewan. So uh, that's it's pretty, pretty cool. Fit check, because I didn't do one yesterday, uh, but that's fine. Got the Berman's hat, same one, obviously. Got the headphones. Um, we've got the, the khakis, I think, from Walmart. We got the uh, Hockey Night in Canada shirt. My mom got it. No idea where that's from. Still rocking the Skechers shoes and the Puma socks. And that's the fit check for vlog number three. Okay. All right, just dropped off the scooter and uh, I don't know what I want to do now. I rented from GoScoot.ca. It's right there. Um, 10 out of 10. I know I've been giving 10 out of 10s for everything, but honestly, you download the app. Everything you can, is done through the app. Super seamless process. Um, one thing about the scooters though, uh, be careful on bumps and stuff. Um, I got a headache because like, obviously there's like zero suspension on it. So if you hit anything, it just rattles your whole fucking shit. But uh, it was super fun, tons of fun. It really made going around Stanley Park a lot better. I know I didn't record a lot of it for you, but I was mainly just enjoying the, the seawall and whatnot. So highly recommend that. Um, I need food. This whole vlog, I think someone said, um, basic recap. I think it was James, uh, LeBlanc James on TikTok. If you want to go check him out. Um, he basically said, uh, sorry, I got a 10% battery on my phone. I don't know if you saw that. He basically said, like, recap Max vlogs. I'm hungry. So shut up, James. I see you. All right, you. so I found a nice sports bar sort of thing um, to go get some food. I was hoping to be there a bit earlier. Maybe they have the expansion draft on, even though I know all of the picks. But uh, as I'm saying that, the Boston Bruins lost Jeremy Lozon uh, in the expansion draft. So it's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right, hello. Um, had about three beers and a burger that was really good. I think I showed you guys. Um, definitely a bit tipsy, but that's fine. Great place, really great people. The bartender that I talked to uh, was a hockey fan, and we were watching the expansion draft as I was there and uh, talking about the Bruins and Lozon and stuff like that. So that was really cool, too. Um, if you're wondering, uh, the place was called Score on Davies. Um, really great place. I'm going to give it another 10 out of 10. Um, I don't know. Maybe everyone's just great here. Or I just have, like, really good luck finding good places. But who knows? Who knows? Uh, quick FYI. There's only been one ever time. Also, a quick FYI, uh, there's only been uh, one other time that I've been more than tipsy. Um, and I think I had more beers this time than I did last time. So, and that was for my birthday. Um, I never did during, I never drank anything during high school or anything like that. So, don't make fun of me. Also, I'm a lightweight, incredibly. So, shut up. Shut up. I don't really change as a person because I'm talkative either way. Um, just an FYI. I'm not super dizzy. Like, look at me. I'm walking in a straight line. Right? <laughs> I don't know. And I have made it back. Um, vlog 3 is over. Um, don't know if this one was any better than the other two. If it was. Succeed. I don't really remember. <laughs> Oops. Um, hope y'all had an amazing day. I love each and every one of y'all. Um, much love. Peace out.